Russ, just to start with some final reflections on Southport, you said on the day it was the the grit and, and the determination and the character of the performance that pleased you most on reflection. Is that still where you stand? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, it was a tough day, but um, having watched the game back a couple of times, we've had some uh, good bits of quality as well, and I think that was topped off by the goal we scored. Was it also the fact that we won the game in a different kind of way? You alluded to it after the game, but in style-wise, it was a different kind of win, and I mean that in a good way. Yeah, I think sometimes you go to these places and there was no grass on the pitch, it was full of sand, the wind was blowing a gale, and, and you really have to play the conditions that day, and you've really got to man up, um, as they say, and uh, roll the sleeves up. Uh, we certainly did that. We looked more than comfortable. Um, to be fair, their player, Morgan, who I thought was their best player, scored a great goal. Um, but our character to come back from 1-0 down just shows something that we might have turned a, a mini corner, I hope. And in terms of recurring themes this season, if there are two points we're constantly asking you about, it's the need for a win at Agbro, which we can park for a week or so, but also it's needing back-to-back -back wins, isn't it? And it'd be a great time to finally get that, uh, that, that consecutive win. Well, we've said it every time we've won a game, let's back it up. So, you know, we've been reiterating that all week. Um, and we've got a, a, a good chance to go to Leamington and put in another good performance. And, you know, if we put the performance in, then hopefully that comes out with the points. But, um, you know, under no illusion, it's got to be a really tough game. Um, Paul Olleran sets his teams up really well for this level. Uh, and they'll be like a wounded lion after last week's result. In terms of squads of players and managers who, are, as you say, are well respected, I would imagine Paul Holleran and, and the teams he constantly creates would be at the top of that list, wouldn't they, really? Definitely. I know Paul really well. He, he seems to go to every game I go to scout games, so we must be watching the same players. So I'm doing something right. But um, he's had a fantastic career in non-league football and he's highly respected. Um, I'll have a drink with him after the game and it is what it is, but we're going there for three points. And you won't ever get three points against Leamington without outworking them as such, will you? They'll always work hard and you've got to match it better, it really. Yeah, and not just Leamington, you've got to do that against every single team. Because um, if you don't work hard in, 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 in my team, you won't play. Um, I think that's 75% of, of what you need in a game to win at this level. And then the other 25% will be quality. So um, you've got to put the groundwork in first. All in relative terms, but while the form has improved slightly over the last few weeks, have you noticed an improvement in, in atmosphere as well, in general feeling around the place? I'd like to think so, and I'd like to think that is with the fans as well. Um, you know, results, don't get me wrong, bring positivity, but um, you know, at the end of the day, why I'm in charge, you know, I like to bring that feel good factor back. I know the club inside out, um, I think that always helps. Um, I know the staff on the pitch and off the pitch, and we're all in it together. Talk to me about Jim Kellerman. We phrased it as a major signing, and in fairness, for the long term, that is what it is, isn't it? I hope so, yeah, and, and people won't realise that don't know him until he plays um, fully, probably from the start of next season, really. Uh, we'll try and get him as many minutes as we can from now till the end. Um, but he understands the situation. Um, but a player, I believe, is too good for the level without hyping him up too much, and I think we've got a real coup there. Uh, he's a box to box energy midfielder, and. Um, his energy breeds um, that confidence through through the team as well. And it probably comes across in his interview, really, and he's genuinely happy to be here as well as a relatively local lad, and probably a move uh, I guess he would like to have made before now, but he can make good on it, can't he? Yeah, I think so. I think it's ticked all boxes for all parties. Um, it definitely suits where Jim is in his career now, and we want to catapult his, his career back on track. Um, and if we're here for a season or two, then, then so be it. Um, hopefully he can move on in the future, because it means we've... Uh, We've done well. He's a good, experienced player. He's an England C international, and sort of on that basis, Sam Austin, who will go off on England C duty in a couple of weeks, all of a sudden has grown in a kidamitsu shirt from a, a young, fresh-faced youngster with not a lot of games under his belt to, I wouldn't say a seasoned pro, but he's, he's come on a treat, hasn't he? Well, yeah, he reminds me of how I started my professional career. Really, he played 150 to 200 games before I went into the league, and no doubt that's what Sam will do. Um, you know, we're really fortunate we've got him for next year as well, because uh, I believe he's one of the best full-back wing-backs in in the in this league and the league above. So um, it's a no-brainer. I spoke to Paul Fairclough a couple of months ago, um, giving him a reference, and uh, I wasn't surprised that he got the call up. And you feel that's in his future a spell in in the football league for a while? Oh, we'll have a good spell in the football league, yeah. Um, but at the moment, he's got to play for Kidderminster as long as we can keep him here for. Um, but we're here to. You know, produce good players as well, and he's definitely one of them. We have touched on it before into single figures now in terms of games left in the campaign, but it, it feels like players' management, you see, often included obviously at the top of that, are having a really good fist at 
keeping that atmosphere and keeping that momentum going through these nine games rather than just allowing them to peter out? Definitely. Well, everyone's got something to play for. I've got something to play for, and so are the players. Um, there's only five, six players contracted for next year, so individually for themselves, for their families, they've got to play for something um, because they need their job as much as I need my job. So um, if we're all in it together, then uh, we should be okay. Should be well represented, I would have thought, in the stands at Leamington. Always great support here at Agbar, obviously, but there's just something about that group of hardy souls that travel up and down the country. Hopefully a good day for them at the weekend. Yeah, I hope so. I've had a load of texts saying they're coming in and supporting the lads, which is great. Uh, I've got family going up as well, so you'd like to think um, there'll be a good section of red in the, in the far corner um, cheering the boys on. We had a fantastic result there last year, if I'm right, and um, we're looking to repeat that.